beautiful. Thank you so much for your company this morning. It has been 10 years since her first Te Reo Māori EP release and now multi-talented artist Huia is back with her most recent offering, Ayor. It's so lovely to have you here, Huia. Thank welcome. You. Yes, welcome. <laughs> So that, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. That is a yeah. beautiful video. Um, let's go right back to the beginning. Mm. When did you start singing? Um, I was one of I was one of those children that sang all the time, and my mum really encouraged me to sing. I should get me to like do, you know, I'm a little teapot and stuff with her friends and get me on, on form. You know, as you need your kids to be useful. Um, so I was started then, and yeah, I just I've always been really creative. I have a really creative family, so it was never a problem to express yourself in music and art and making stuff and it was just, just what I did. Cool. And I guess it's quite unique, so when people ask what sort of music you make, what's your answer? Uh, ambient electronic world music. Yeah. Seems yeah, to be the, like the category. And it is beautiful too, oh, yeah. by the way. I, I'm, I, will, I mean, I run um, Cog Studio with my husband and he's like an award-winning drum and bass producer, so it does help <laughs> to have a really amazing <laughs> studio and amazing husband um, and team who can yeah. help put everything together. Yeah. I'm so, so, so grateful. Oh, I bet it does. It would be very, very convenient, wouldn't yeah, it? it, it is. Uh, this is a full Te Reo, te reo EP. Mm -hmm. um, what's your journey been? Do you, did you grow up speaking it or how? Uh, no, I had, I, I grew up on on the Thames Coromandel Peninsula, so we lived about halfway up. My nan's a fluent Te Reo speaker, and, uh, but it was from the generation where she wasn't allowed to speak or really share her language, and my father does speak some Te Reo Māori, but it was never a, a really full bilingual house. Um, we always had little bits, you know, waiata and, and words, and, and you know, kind of half-half, but um, because he didn't speak full t fluent Te Reo Māori because of the education system and, and other things that we all know about. Mm. Uh, so I had to kind of relearn as far as um, proper understanding of Te Reo, you know, the grammar and everything like that. Um, my nan always spoke, it was just Ngātipuro, but she always spoke very um, simple Te Reo Māori, so there's a lot of new words now. So yeah, my, my journey my journey with Te Reo Māori has been through music, so through music and through writing and working with people like Ruia Aperahama and Lois McIver and Rob Ruha, you know, like they're native speakers or they've relearnt, you know, as well. Um, Rob and Ruia are native and Lois is, she kind of went through that journey a lot earlier. So wow. um, that's been, yeah, my, my relationship with my own language that I feel I should know so it's been an amazing process. A lot of people in that same situation though aren't they? Yeah, yeah no, it's so true and you know I just I think the whole electronic beats and ambient music combined with Te Reo is just such a modern and unique approach yeah. it just works so well. When you're writing a song do you start writing it in Te Reo or do you write it in English first? It's been a, a real transition period so I did write in English first because right. I that's what I knew how to do correctly. Um, and then I did have amazing people like Ruya to help me understand like the translations between. And it's not often a straight translation, which I think people will go, what, how do you say that in English? Mm. And actually it's more of an emotive translation most of the time. And then also with music, not even being real words half the time, <laughs> a real conversation and no grammar, there is a real emotive translation, you know, in yeah. song. So yeah, it's... So your single Ayo, what does that actually mean? So Ayo is to be at peace. Um, my previous EP was called Ata, which is a word you put on before things to take caution. So Ata Haide, um, be careful with where you go. You know, Ata Kōrero, be careful with the way you talk and you take care with your words. Um, and Ayo is just to be at peace. So you got some pretty peace. strong messages through the album as well. So what drives you to do that? Uh, I guess now I write about what I think is important to share because I feel I'm not always going to be here. So while I am here um, in this life, I should share as many messages and as much education in all different areas. Um, what I find with, with songs, people learn a lot from, from hearing a story yeah, or a journey. Yeah. Well, so now that I'm a bit older, it's, it's different. Well, that's how kids have learned. I mean, you think Absolutely. about it, that's how you learn when you're a child through song, isn't it? Uh, your song, Tohunga, is about celebrities, is that right? It's about the celebrity life. Like, I think people aspire to be in a celebrity, but if they have a good look at the life, it's they're just living like everyone else. And that whether you're home and you're looking after your one-year-old all by yourself, or you're a Kim Kardashian running around doing whatever, 
you're just as valued under the sun. You're just the same. So stop aspiring to celebrity life and you're just as beautiful and as important. So that's what that song's about. So not only with Chris's help at COG, you've also got, uh, some, we've had him on the show, yep. Ray, before as well. So he writes the beats. I organised that. Oh, did you? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, he's a legend. I like that guy. Well, yeah. he's, um, we met Ray when he came to do a song called Handy Club at COG. And we just were like, wow, you know, he was 21 or 22 and he just has, he's so intelligent and mm. so mature and, and in all areas of his life. So me and Chris were like, well, how about, we weren't doing label stuff anymore, we are like, kind of done with that, apart from our own stuff, of course. And we just thought, look, here's this really talented, you know, f fluent TDL speaker, writes his own beats, raps, sings, is just a really good guy. Hey, let's let's help him out. So we've um, been working with him over the last few years because we really believe that he has, he has a lot to offer. This is a real fun. So, you've got, so yeah. you've got your own yeah. stuff going on and then COG and you're also a promoter as well. I'm a publicist. So a publicist. Yeah, Who do you work with? Um, Unchained was on the show a few weeks ago, yeah. Unchained XL. So we um, help him with his music. We help launch Peter T. Um, I've done a lot of, we've seen a lot of music through um, you know the media channels over the years, but yeah, uh, Peter T was one was one of our very first um, kind of urban artists that we work with. But I do all sorts of people. Um, I've got a seventeen year old singer called Savannah who is an amazing performer as well. So yeah, we do. I just do. I basically help people who are starting off their career, help them set up social media, set up their website, write content, get images right, all that kind of stuff. So then empowering them to go forward and know what to do, basically. Wow. Well, what you're a, brilliant. What yeah. exciting and diverse yeah, life you live. It is cool. very busy. And I changed a tyre this morning. Yeah. Woo! So, um, and yeah, a baby yeah. last year and as well. Baby number, number two. two. Hey, Hui, well, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank Been you. Pleasure baby. chatting. <laughs> you can check out more about Hui's music on her website. Her EP, Ayo, is available right now.